Now, I, I know uh, you have been a leader in willing to embrace crypto. You yeah. have made it so that people can be in Bitcoin. We hear that you are thinking about Ethereum. These are incredible things. How, now, BlackRock is not known as a, uh, a gunslinger by any means. So you obviously must believe that this may be as an alternative. Is this an alternative uh, in order to be able, because of the a deficit, maybe something long-term people should have? Absolutely. Um, as you know, I was a skeptic. <laughs> yes. I, you know, I was a proud skeptic. <laughs> <laughs> And I studied it, learned about it, and I came away saying, okay, you know, my opinion five years ago was wrong. Here's my opinion today. This is what I believe in today. I believe the opportunity today. I believe Bitcoin is legitimate. I'm not trying to say there's not misuses like everything else, but it is a legitimate financial instrument that allows you to have maybe uncorrelated, non-correlated type of returns. I believe it is an instrument that you invest in when you're more frightened, though. It is an instrument when you believe that co countries are debasing their currency, de debasing their currency by excess deficits, and some countries are. I believe we have um, countries where you're frightened of your everyday existence and have an opportunity to invest in, in a, a something that is outside your country's uh, you know, control, then you can have more financial control. And so I'm a, a major believer that there is a role for Bitcoin in, in portfolios. I believe you're going to see that as, an, as a, one of the asset classes that we all look at. I look at it as digital gold, as I said before, and I do believe there's a, a, there's a, there's a real need for everyone to look at it as, as one alternative to, I would say, the optimism that I have in the world. If you want to hedge hope, Bitcoin is not a, an instrument for hope unless you're hopeful you're going to make a lot of money on it. <laughs> but it, I, I look at it as a vehicle in which you're expressing your, your financial acumen in something that you're more frightened of the world. You're more frightened of your existence. And I believe there's a great industrial use for it. And I, and I think a lot of people are missing that. I couldn't agree more. I changed my mind about it when you did. You would have been my thinking. It was like, uh-uh, you don't believe it. So I can't believe it. I want to thank Larry Fink for the message of optimism. Thanks. And also for a great quarter. Larry Fink is the co-founder, chairman, and CEO of BlackRock, I think the most important investment company in the world. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Carl.